In 2008, Moira Philp was running a bath for her daughter, Matilda, when her whole world changed in a heartbeat. So it was, just had hot water in it. Um, I stepped out for a second and Matilda, I heard a noise and she'd put a toy in and then she followed the toy in. So she fell into a bath of extremely hot water. I remember calling the ambulance and them talking me through it and telling me to put her in the shower straight away. And then when the two um, ambulance, they were both ladies came, they were calling of where they should go to and they were advised to rush her straight to the Royal Children's Hospital because that was where the Mains Burns unit was. We were assessed when we got there and put on to a ward. She you know, immediately was swelling um, all her face and we could see there was burns to her shoulders. Um, would have been when we were on the ward about 24 hours later, one of the nurses noticed that her breathing was very laboured, very shallow. So at that time, she was transferred straight to ICU, where she spent the next week being given breathing support because of her swelling in the throat. It meant that she wasn't able to breathe unassisted. Yeah, obviously it was just awful. <laughs> so I was also 28 weeks pregnant with um, Sasha, her sister. We then spent um, five weeks and just got out just before her second birthday. And through that time, she had two skin grafts for burns to her face and her shoulders. And also in that time, she lost just the outside of her ear because that blackened and fell off. You know, the, the change that happened so quickly and suddenly that's your whole world. That's literally what it was. But the Royal Children's Hospital made that, the people around it do make it a much easier experience. The thing that I always found amazing was you felt like you were very important to them. There was nurses, there were surgeons, there were doctors, support staff, like, you know, we had to have speech therapy and occupational therapy, all those things. But you always feel that when you're there with the person, they're doing what's best for you and obviously Matilda. 14 years since the accident, Matilda is living proof not only of the life-saving work of the Royal Children's Hospital Burns Unit, but also the special care its staff take in treating their young patients. I've had countless procedures there that most of the time they didn't even seem that scary or intimidating. But looking back on them now, I realise how major they were. But they just, the Royal Children's Hospital just always makes you feel so comforted there that you don't even realise how big of a deal it is, what you're going through. So, my hearing went bad afterwards a little bit, so I've had grommets put in a few times, I think five or six times, like quite a few. And then I've had a surgery to cut open my scars to like lengthen them. And that was in 2016. And then in 2017, I had a full ear reconstruction where they took cartilage from in between my ribs. And then like my doctor, um, Dr. Fairbank, she recreated an ear for me, which is here. I remember getting the, like the bandages taken off. And I remember mum said, that's the most speechless she's ever heard me. She was like, you sat there for five minutes just staring at it. <laughs> The surgeon had always talked about the supermarket test, so the fact that if someone walked past her, they wouldn't look twice, and that's, you know, it's not going to be exactly like the other ear, but that's, she's now, you know, she went to high school and people didn't even realise, and that's all, you know, what surgeons and everyone and the whole team have given her. My friends would definitely say my biggest qualities would be <laughs> laughing and smiling and chatting, and I'd probably agree with them. And then my favourite things to do at the moment are footy and netball. So I'm always outside running around, even playing with the dog and whatever. You, basically, you are who you are now from your childhood. And I reckon I'd have to say that the hospital definitely has something to do with that. Because if it had been a traumatic experience, then I definitely wouldn't be the same person I am now. They've had such a big impact in Matilda's life and without them, She wouldn't be here. <laughs> and she, I look back now and you know, normally I'm fine and I look at her and how well she is, but it does make you realise and the Good Friday appeal makes you realise that that's what they're doing all the time. They're saving people's lives and that's what they did for us.